So can red light therapy help with hair loss? Recently, I got a lot of coverage as being the guy who stopped washing his hair in order to stop his hair loss. Six years ago, I basically stopped using any products in my hair and I told my story on social media a couple of weeks ago and it's had over 10 million views on the original video and I was featured on an ad bible. And because I've got a large audience that is looking now into hair loss solutions, I thought it'd be a good idea to discuss red light therapy and its effect on hair loss. Now, instead of just telling you my story and how things have impacted me, I actually want to show you some clinical studies today to show you the effects that red light therapy can have on hair loss. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to the Mycondria YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then I highly suggest that you click both the subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future content. We don't only talk about things like hair loss, you know, we're talking about light and circadian rhythms and how you can optimize these things in order to live your best life. Now for today's video, obviously we're going to be talking about hair loss and I've already told my story on social media a few times about this, but I want to give you a bit more evidence and actually some clinical trials that have shown results with red light therapy and hair loss. Now, red light therapy, one of the main ways that it works is by upregulating energy production within your cells. And when it's targeted at an area like your scalp, it can really help with blood flow as well as inflammation. Now, as soon as you know hair is falling out, it's obviously a sign that the hair follicles themselves are not healthy and you know that's when they become brittle. And because they fall out so easy, you know, they're not getting enough nutrients. So this increased blood flow really helps to deliver more nutrients to those hair follicles. And if there is an underlying cause of inflammation, then red light therapy in theory should help. Now I'm going to show you two studies today and the very first one was titled The Growth of Human Scalp Hair Mediated by Visible Red Light Laser and LED Sources in Males. So what they did in this study is they took 44 males who all had androgenic alopecia and what they found is they had half of these guys doing red light therapy on their scalps every second day for 16 weeks. And then the placebo group they had a fake light on their head so they didn't have any red light applied to their heads. What they found at the end of the 16 weeks is that those who had red light therapy applied to their scalps had a 39% greater increase in hair growth. Now, if you're a female who's watching this video, you might be wondering, you know, does this apply to me? Well, the researchers actually decided to replicate the study and do the same thing with females. So in another study that was titled The Growth of Human Scalp Hair in Females Using Visible Red Light Laser and LED Sources, they did the exact same protocol where they took 44 females who had androgenic alopecia and they had half of them using a red light therapy device on their scalp for 16 weeks. And very similarly, what they found at the end is that the woman who used red light therapy on their scalps had a 37% greater increase in hair. So if you are someone who is, you know, currently struggling with hair loss, it's, you know, it could be falling out for many reasons. Obviously, you know, there's not a one, one size solution for everyone, but looking at the clinical research, you know, there is some evidence that suggests that red light therapy can help to increase the strength of your hair and reduce the amount of hair that is falling out, even in cases where it is, you know, a genetic cause. And just to remind you guys that the mitochondrial red light therapy devices, they are some of the strongest on the market. So if you want to try and get the results that are seen in the scientific uh, literature, then you want to make sure that you use a device that has very similar specifications. So the mitochondrial devices are extremely high powered. They're also flicker free, which means you're delivering a really high quality of light to your cells in order to get the best benefits. If you want to check those out, then head over to mitochondria.com. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the content from today's video, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button. That just lets us know that you like this kind of content and fuels our fire to make more videos like this for you. Again, if you have any questions, drop them below. But otherwise, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.